Hello, everybody. Andrea here with Dental L. So have you been thinking about is mobile dental hygiene the business for you? So depending on where you live, so please check that you may or may not be able to start your own mobile dental hygiene business here in Ontario. This is where I am from. If you are a self initiated dental hygienist, you can start your own business in Ontario and you might have the best of intentions. You're all excited to do this. But then you might be thinking, how on earth do I do this? When I first started my mobile dental hygiene business, this would have been about two years ago now, I there was nobody in my area doing it. Um, I wanted to start simple, small. I didn't want to spend a million dollars to have a bus, a van, um, turn it into a dental room. Um, I just wanted to keep things simple. So I wanted to buy my own portable equipment, take things inside to people's homes or have them come to me. I, I do have a little setup in my own home too for patients who want to come to me for their dental hygiene treatment. Because these days, depending on where you live, you don't need to go to a dentist to get your teeth cleaned. You can ask a hygienist to do it for you and they can have their own businesses depending on where you live. So I was very excited to get started doing this. A mobile dental hygienist is fantastic to go into nursing homes because seniors in nursing homes, it's very difficult for them to travel to a dental office. Their caregiver has to pick them up um, and it's just not as easy as just one, two, three. So to have a dental hygienist go to them is fantastic. They are getting regular teeth cleanings in a much more convenient way. Think about those patients who are anxious or nervous to see a dentist. Just thinking about stepping into a dental office gives them anxiety. They don't like the smell of a dental office. They don't like, you know, the cold, sterile environment that a lot of dental offices have, right? They don't want to see other patients who are in pain holding their face like this because they just had their tooth taken out. Um, among other things. So imagine if you're a mobile dental hygienist going into their home, you know, it's just so much more comfortable for them. Or what about that patient who has six kids and they want everybody to have their teeth cleaned, but it's literally a full day at the dental office where, you know, she wants her teeth cleaned, the husband wants his teeth cleaned, the six kids are getting their teeth cleaned. They have to hang out all day long. Isn't it nicer if a dental hygienist goes into their home and sets up in their living room with the table instruments, the compressor, um, compressor with the air, the water, the suction, a portable patient chair to have them lay back. Um, and then you see one family member after another. Doesn't that sound amazing? I think it's amazing. I love what I do. I love setting up in somebody's home and literally spending the next four hours or so with them, depending on how many people I'm seeing. And patients really appreciate it. It's a huge convenience. So is mobile dental for you? A typical day as a mobile dental hygienist is basically in the morning, um, I load up my car with everything I need for that household. You can see one household per day, two households, three households, that's up to you. Um, I prefer to see one household per day and see multiple people or family members in that household. So I, I pretty much set up for one to four hours, sometimes six hours, how many family members I have. And then I'm in one home um, cleaning their teeth, one family member after another. So I load up everything in my car. I have a cart with my um, instruments, my dental material, such as, you know, masks, gloves, um, sealant material, fluoride, micro brushes, toothbrushes, my dental instruments and tools, um, my polishing handpiece. I have whatever I need. I have a couple side tables. I pack up my compressor with the air, the water, the suction. So I set that up plug it in and the patient does have the full dental experience without going to a dental office and being nervous. I travel to that patient's house, park in their driveway, on the road, whatever works, and I make approximately three trips inside their house, you know, their house to my car, their house to my car. I load everything inside their house. I come in and set everything up. 
I use their washroom to wash my hands and everything, get ready to go, put on my, um, well, my mask is on already, but my like loops, um, all of that hair cap, gown, um, all of that because of the pandemic, you, you do need more PPE. And then I get started. I set up, I say who wants to go first, who's excited, and then I go that way. And every new family member gets a new set of tools, instruments, materials, all of that, that I just simply take from my cart and throw the dirty stuff out. And the dirty instruments I put in a Tupperware container that is labeled dirty. Um, and there you go. And then when I'm done, I clean everything up and then away I go. The patients are happy. I'm happy. I work for myself, make my own money. I send everything off to the insurance for the patients. That's up to you if you want to have cash up front. I prefer to send everything off to insurance for my patients. Um, I do that when I get home with the internet connection with my laptop. I take my notes when I go home and there you go, you guys. So I do have a full course. I do have a mobile RDH Academy course. I can leave the link for you guys down below. If you're, you know, you know, excited, if you're inspired to have your own mobile dental hygiene business, I teach you guys from step one, what you need, things you have to buy, things you have to prepare for, how to process payments, how to send insurance claims, what to buy when you first get started, things you don't need to buy, the prices of certain things. I go through everything to help you guys with your mobile dental hygiene business. To those people who really don't know how to get started, but they want to, I have it all for you. I do also help those who you might have a mobile dental hygiene business already, but you're not doing well. Maybe you're seeing a couple patients a, a week, that's it. You, you don't really know how to market, advertise, you're not getting enough patients. I help you with that too, because I am successful. I work part-time and make a full-time income. I love what I do. So it's truly my passion to help other mobile hygienists do the same thing, because this is a niche market for sure. You don't hear of many mobile dental hygienists. And in, in fact, still, um, patients ask me, like, I didn't know a mobile dental hygien uh, hygienist existed. And I kind of say to them, well, I'm the only one in the area. So technically, nobody does either. But we need more mobile hygienists. So I can leave the link for you guys down below. Just make sure to check if in your area, you can have your own business. How do you check this? Ask your local dental hygiene association, the one that gives you your license. Ask them if they say yes, contact me and then I can help you. So let me know you guys if you have any questions and I'll talk to you in the next video.